some love for team of the week. None other than Jared Goff. He got a 90 overall team of the week. Deserved. He's been playing amazing. I would love to add that to this team. There's also a Jordan Hicks middle linebacker, which I also really need on the pack and play squad. Limited D-hop is absolutely insane, but I'll be honest, I don't need this card at all, but I'd still take it because who doesn't love Texans D-hop? The team of the week drop right now was literally made for my pack and play team, so I had to get you guys a video. I'm really glad you guys enjoy the more laid back, degenerate pack ripping version of pack and play. Screw the rules, boys. Let's just open a shit ton of packs and have a good time. Here's the team right now. Big positions of interest are guard, quarterback, and that's really it on offense. Offense is really, really good, but defense, middle linebackers for sure, free safety, corner three, left end. Now, as I'm recording this, there's also a 90 overall angry runs Chris Brooks. I don't know if you guys have seen the stats on this card, but he's 90 speed, 90 break tackle, 90 trucking. Let's get degenerate, boys. Let's have some fun. There's a weekly kickoff pack. The value is there. This is an 83 plus and an 81 plus. You never know when you're just gonna go dummy bonkers. Oh, Greg Stroman. Yo, I used him on double or nothing and this guy was the MVP. He was nasty. He's just a fast budget corner. Jerome Ford. This Jerome Ford's okay. Nothing I'll use. Okay, this is really the big one. This is gonna do a lot for us. Team of the Week champion pack. So you either get a 90 overall Team of the Week champion. So Goff, Hop, Jordan Hicks, or you get the Angry Runs 90 overall, which is that Chris Brooks. I really would take all of it. I think we need Chris Brooks the least. <laughs> Fuck. It's my, oh my God. Oh my God. Wait, there's three players in this? How are there multiple? Okay, that's an insane card. It's an insane animation, but I really don't need that. What? Wait, what is in this? What is in this? I thought that was just one player. I should have read it. I didn't read it. I'm not gonna lie though. He is better than McCaffrey. He's the best hat back in the game. 90 speed, 87 excel, 90 truck, 90 break tackle is disgusting. He's a full blown power back, but he's faster than any running back in the game. So I am excited to have him, but damn, we are just so running back heavy on this account. Like this is my depth here. I've got that run CMC, but dude, he's bigger and faster than CMC. He's worse in every other category though. Change of direction is actually pretty shitty. Catching's not great. Carrying's lower, agility's lower, excel's lower. So he's a true, he's a true power back. Did unique abilities. I don't actually know how these cards work. Angry runs X factor. High chance to win interactions versus the first defender. Rush for six one plus yard. Wait, what? That's so easy to activate. Wait a minute. Wait, this is fucking sick. Okay, wait a minute. Maybe this was a really good pull. Now at the same time, that X factor costs two AP and you're gonna win interactions with the first defender. You don't need to use any abilities on it. I'm just gonna raw dog it. We get another half back, Travis Etienne, and then Case Duel. Dude, we are so happy Halfback heavy. Okay, next thing I'm opening is the eight times 83 plus overall AKA players. You just gotta pull one absolute heater and then this is really, really good. The other thing is you can pull the full AKAs, just the old ones, like famous Jameis and shit that are 87s. We will know instantly if we've pulled a full AKA player or not based on the animation. So that animation is a low. Come on, just one, just, I gotta get at least one big animation. I heard really good things about this and it's uh, absolute utter dog shit right now. You gotta clutch me up at the end or we're just taking a fast Bad L on this. Come on, boys. No shot. It goes all 83s. Don't you do that. That's brutal. All, all 83, 84s. I guess technically we could do a set, but that was a bummer. Also, there's a brand new NFL mobile game. It's called Football Head Coach. They're the sponsor of today's video, and this game is awesome. I want to show you guys it. It's a ton like franchise. Your goal is to build the best roster you can so that you can crush your opponents. My squad right now, I've got Aaron Rodgers at QB. I got Alvin Kamara at running back. My wide receivers are kind of mid, and my best defensive players are Kevin Byard and Daniil Hunter. There's tons of ways to improve your team, but one of my favorites is buying players on the transfer market. This is an auction house where other players will put guys up. For example, right here, I could actually buy this AJ Brown. And my best wide receiver right now is Hunter Renfro. I feel like that's probably a good buy. Let's see all the wide receivers. There's an AJ Brown and a DeAndre Hopkins. I'm gonna go AJ Brown. What a stud. Let's also pick up a new linebacker. I could pick up TJ Watt for 350,000. Stud. Look at my linebackers. Daniil Hunter, TJ Watt, Michael Parsons. And on offense, we got AJ Brown now too. And a player I really wanna get is this 
player of the month, Christian McCaffrey, 94 overall. I'll have to complete some player trade challenges, but it will definitely be worth it. He's insane. Let's play a quick match to see how our new players do. Ayo, 75 overall, taking on a 61. This should be an easy dub. And this is just like franchise mode where we get to see how our simulated team's gonna play. And it looks like we might, looks like we might get a touchdown here. It's first and goal. Give it to Kamara. Second and goal. Third and goal. Hey, we don't even need Kamara. Malik Davis comes in and gets it. Zerline drills the PAT, 7-0. Hey, and Kamara gets a touchdown. Let's go. It's all running backs. I'm a run game team. All right, let's see the end game result. It's 84 to 3. We crushed them. We did have a big overall advantage, though. Hey, boys, that's just a little bit of football head coach. But if you want to build your own God squad, make sure you check this game out. There is a link in the top of the description. It's an absolute blast. I know you guys are going to love it and enjoy the rest of the video. We end up having perfectly enough for a week six team of the week bundle, which guarantees one of two 90 overalls. It also could have Chris Brooks again. Best case scenario, well, Jared Goff would be amazing and Jordan Hicks would be amazing. I almost need Jordan Hicks a little bit more. And we get a Sam Laporta. They really showed some love to the Lions on this team of the week drop. I respect that. Jerome Ford, Brian O'Neill. Oh, someone someone told me how to pronounce his name and I forgot it. Ronnie Bell, Josh Metellus. The team of the week packs, like the raw packs, are just ass. I don't know if I've ever ever pulled anything good in just a pack. As I say that, I get 87 ETN, but still, this is where it gets big, boys. It's all about this right here. Golf Hicks. Golf Hicks. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my God. Dog. Get out of my pack. <laughs> Golf Hicks. Golf Hicks. Golf Hicks. <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. What a loser. The last three weeks, all I needed was the limited. I needed the limited to get a quarterback. There was Brock Purdy. Oh, there was Josh Allen. And I couldn't get a limited. And now, oh my God. My wide receivers are so fucking good on this account, bro. Look at my wide receivers. We have Kittle at tight end. We have Cooper Cup, 90. We have DK Metcalf, 90. We have Shannon Sharp. We have 88 Higby. We have 88 Tyreek Kill. Fucking T Higgins, Gabe Davis. Oh my God. God, this team is so stacked. And I've still got fucking Perk Thuggins unstoppable at quarterback. This is crazy. What abilities do you get? Slot Apprentice mid out elite. It's one of the favorite cards in the game with how cool it is. Just not for pack and play. Okay, here's the only good thing, okay? So as you're watching this video, Most Feared Wave 2 dropped. So I think I'm gonna do a pack and play for that also. I guess my point is, is like, we still have opportunities to get a quarterback. Just not right now. We're actually, uh, I shouldn't even say that. We're pretty close to a set on Jared Goff. We're two 87s and an 83 away from just like creating Jared Goff. And we can actually redeem another 83. So we're really, we're two 87 overalls away from Jared Goff. I'm getting young way Koo, baby. Let's just get our new weapons in here and, and see exactly what we're going to do with them. So McCaffrey no longer is sucking up four AP. So we're going to activate angry runs on Chris Brooks. Excited to try that out. And now I have two AP available. I'm going to run gift wrapped and protected on Kirk Cousins. In the last double or nothing, I had so many drop passes and everyone was telling me to run gift wrapped. So, hey, we can afford it now that we have Chris Brooks instead of CMC. And then defensively, we've got Buda Baker, Jerry Jacobs, Charles Woodson with X factors. And then we're using three AP on the most beautiful card in this game. Von Miller, the blitzer, 87 speed, 88 excel. Oh, this card is so sick. I actually ended up pulling this Von Miller on a live stream. I was on this account using a bundle. I know I didn't pull it on camera. I hope you you guys are cool with me using him. This is a god squad. This this is the team I salivate for in Wheel of Mutt. Let's go catch a dub, and then when Most Feared Wave 2 drops, hopefully we can get ourselves a 90 overall quarterback, and I'll be in love with this team. Cooper Cup, Chris Brooks, George Kittle. It's a nasty top three. He's got the Grave Digger, Michael Vick, and Kyle Pitts. Let's start out with um Inside Zone, actually, because we can activate this Angry Runs with only six one-plus yard rushes. That's so easy. I'm real excited to use this Chris Brooks. We we gotta go right at the grave digger though. Yeah, he's scary. Second and eight. Cooper Cup over the middle. He kind of got bumped. That was good, uh, good man coverage. Third and five. Oh yeah, we're gonna see a lot of man coverage today. Let's beat it, boys. I'm going up to Kittle. It's my only shot. Oh, Palomalu mirrored him. Am I going to play cover two man the entire game today? I think I am. I think the George Kittle whip route takes this home. Oh my God. I got boxed. <gasps> Perk Thuggins! No! I thought he had the wheels for that. I thought he'd have the wheels for that. No, no, that was a very empty first drive. He's gonna go with a handoff here and get absolutely blown up by Malik Hooker. Nice work. All right, goes with another run play, going nowhere. Third and seven. 
I really thought I'd be able to get back to that. I also thought the Blitz would get there in time. All right, tough start here. 7-0. Well, he's going to spam man coverage. Let's get the boys cooking, yeah? DK Metcalf will start out here with... Oh, my God. Where did they all go? He's literally going to run cover two man the whole game. Okay, let's beat this. Oh, D-Hop torched him. <laughs> D-Hop! Let's go. That was Charles Woodson on D-Hop. Game and run for his money. Same thing? Oh, that time it's fucking blanketed. What? What was that? Oh, my God. I thought we had separation. He tries to unleash it, doesn't get rid of it. Tries to unleash it again, he doesn't even have time. Keeps coming out in five wide, throwing it. I got a lot of this covered, I think. I just couldn't quite get there, damn. Nice, good defense. Came down with Derwin, we're all over that. He's not running the ball effectively at all. Hey, we got home! Fourth and 16. The DB Blitz gets home. He's gonna punt. Oh my God, he's gonna punt. I'm so shocked. Do I try and field this? Fuck it. <laughs> yup, cut that back inside the user. Good six yards for Chris Brooks. I'm gonna give this to Chris Brooks. Hopefully he gets something. Man coverage, man. D-Hop gets home. Beautiful. On that fourth down, D-Hop's able to beat it. Nice work. We can tie this game up. Holy George Kittle. <laughs> Joke. Damn, he torched that. Now he's going to shade it inside and we go outside with it, right? That's what he did last time. Yep. That's all it is. So we're, we're really just playing a game of chess here now. He's trying to figure out what adjustments to make. And as long as I give the route the opposite side, we'll get it. Kittle's got him. Kittle's got him just barely. Hoping I can fully turn that. Oh, I think we got it. I think we figured him out now. Does he shade me inside? I think Cup can still catch that. Ooh, what a catch. Second and goal on the one. I love five minute quarters, dude. This game has sucked for me so far. I played like shit. I've turned the ball over. It's only seven to zero. There's a lot of clock. Every game like this is winnable. Did he just catch that? What the fuck? Idiot. Wow, I can't believe he got that. Get home! Let's go! Third and 11, good time out. I'm giving him a taste of his own medicine. Feels kind of good. Pick six! He throws a check down! And a one check in! He threw a 10 yard comeback? Wow! Dude, and, and Tyreek Hill didn't react on that ball at all. He needed to switch on to Tyreek to catch that. This has been a very defensive game. There she is. Hello? Guys, no? Woodson makes a massive tackle. Really needed that. He's going to call a timeout. He's at the 42. His own 42. He's not in field goal range yet. <sighs> Actually overcommitted so hard there that I, I could have had something. Dude, what are you doing with your clock management? This is his last play. That was horrible clock management. <laughs> had two timeouts. Had two timeouts. That's crazy. D tackles, dude. I don't. My D tackles are nasty on this team. 90 Quinn and Williams, and then Javon Hargrave. And they're showing up today. Okay, he really likes this. We know that. Oh, shit. Oh, it's a comeback. He definitely would have got that comeback. The problem is he's only blocking five. He's always going to have heat in his face like this if he goes five wide. I don't want to give up a touchdown because I'm being so greedy. I'm on this. We are not on that. Ah! Try to light him up. Just come up with Derwin and try and clog it. Nice. Actually worked pretty well. Second and eight. Bring Derwin down. Fred Warner's all over it. One yard for Bo. Bo cannot get it going. I love that. Third and seven. He's got the corner out. Fuck. We're there. Great work, Khalil Mack. Huge play. Now he passes. Now he passes. We're going to guess pass here. Yup. Get home. Get home. Matthew Judon. One second on the clock. He's going to get a delay game. Let's go. Make it even less manageable. I love that. Honestly, I might even let him throw halfback just to like keep applying pressure with Fred. Oh my God. He elects to run it. What? I mean, he got a lot of yards. Wow. I'm shocked. That was so conservative. I, hey, respect though. He's already punted too. He's actually playing. He's playing smart football. He's punted once and now I'll take the field goal. We have nine rushing yards today. That's crazy. I got Chris Brooks and I have nine rushing yards. First and 10. I'm running stretch weak side. Going to cut it up. Damn, my. Miles Garrett is there to swallow it up, but I'll take three yards. All right, that's fucking so annoying. That's insane. I just want to run the ball, man. Got him. Carry. What did, he, what did he slap the back of my ball sack? I was fucking gone. He'll probably play inside of that now. We'll just take what we can get, which is pretty much nothing on that. Second and 10. D-Hop might get him here. D-Hop. D-Hop burned him and broke a tackle. Big time. George Kittle. 
Oh, he almost picked it off too. Do I take a field goal? Coach wants me to go for it. Is that because I can't hit the field goal? No, we should be able to hit a 53. Ooh, barely. That's not full power. That's not full power. Holy shit. Coach is right. I should have gone for it. Just can't let him chew the clock. We got to get the ball back. It's going to go counter run here. Great defense. Third and six. He still can't get anything going on the ground. Let's go! Fourth and 14! Sacked him there. Does he punt it? He does. Huge. Massive defensive play. Wow, this is a close-ass game. I am, I am fairly matched up right now. I really like this game. It would be so nice if I could run the ball, but this guy is getting the most unbelievable block sheds. I can't run basic stretches or dives because these D tackles go insane every time. Should get a block there, yup. Oh my God, I finally got a run to go, baby. Finally got a run to go. Chris Brooks. Let's start playing tempo. Let's start playing tempo. I want to take a shot with D hop. Oh my God, he torched him. D hop. Let's go. Maybe, just maybe, I could have downed that ball, tried to milk the clock and score another touchdown, but I've only gotten in the end zone one time today. And finally, we take a big risk and it pays off. Dude, I barely got that snap off. I saw how tightly he was pressed, and there was like one second on that clock, and I barely got the snap off. Dude, that was Darrell Revis, too. When we got D-Hop, I said, we don't need this, D-Hop. We don't need this. And guess what? D-Hop comes up with what might be the biggest play of the game. 14 to 10. What's he done out of this previously? I don't recognize this. I think he ran it. Oh, Khalil Mack has been so big today. I'm going to go on Malik Cooker. Actually, no, I'm going to go on Buda Baker. He hasn't looked at 14 all day. Doesn't even get it off. If he's going five wide, I'm staying in Samuel Blitz every single time. He'll probably come back out in it. I'm on Woodson. Good defense. He still catches it third and eight, but no, he does it again. This time to Tyreek Hill. It's fourth and three. Does he come out in the same thing? He absolutely thinks that this is the exact same defense. He's got the left side. Fuck! We almost could have broken that pass up too. He's got that. He almost didn't. Oh, I tried to get there with Hargrave. That whip route's not there. Throw it. Oh! Zach Allen! Second and 23. Gets home huge. He's got to snap this ball. Oh no, he's got that. He doesn't have anything! He's sacked again by Judon! Third and 34. There's the slant on DK. He will take it. We got to make this tackle. Huge! Fourth and 19. Wait, he's going to be out of time. He's out of time! Just got to break this up. No! Oh, I hate when the ball goes up like that. Wait, hang on! What a game! Dude, one of the best games I've ever been a part of. So defensive, so slow, but we came out on top. Let's go. 12 for 22 interceptions. I did not play a great game, not by any means. Bo is 14 for 48. We really stopped him. Chris Brooks, I couldn't get it going with Chris Brooks, though. I really just could not get it going with him. D-Hop, 4 for 133 and the biggest touchdown of the game. He had one with Tyreek early on, and uh, since then, he was unable to score a touchdown since that. It literally was the D-Hop touchdown. The D-Hop touchdown, this right here, 65 yards. Tutty, just desperately trying to snap this ball. And I'm so glad it's D-Hop because Cooper Cup got bottled over there. I don't think he was going to really get past that. But D-Hop had him. He took it all the way. All right, boys. Hey, I was, dude, I pulled that limited D-Hop saying he was bad. He turned out to be the boy. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was an absolute blast. What an awesome pack and play episode. Good news is you're about to have another one. As soon as that second wave of most fear drops, I'll be getting you guys another video. I love y'all. Thanks for watching. As always, awesome video. Peace.